Oh my god, we're down. You can't even use the ability. You cannot even use the ability. I don't know what's happening. Nothing's getting blocked. There we go. Okay, four kills. Nice. We took him down. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we have to try out the Fenrir because it has been completely overhauled where it's like a completely different robot ability. So it still says Unchained, but look. The ability now says spends a huge percentage of its health to make more damage and move faster for some time. Shield and structure are regained based on damage done. If you remember, before when you hit the ability, you would just gain a massive resistance in speed for a period of time. But now you're giving up durability to get more damage and speed. It's completely backwards and different, not to mention the builds that we ran before, it's kind of hard to run now. It seems like the best bang for your buck is running the quantum the quantum weapons um, for shotgun purposes. And then you can, we have a couple different builds, but it's so easy to go over the weight cap um, for this thing. And also you can only run like, yeah, look, our energy is 39. So yeah, the let me put the quantum back on. Okay, so the quantum works were just at the limit. And then here we have quantum and a fowler. And I feel like this might be the best ability. You cannot run scatter. Scatter is super difficult to run on most robots. Um, but yeah, so they pretty much switched it up. This is a bit of a weird build I had trying out. Fury, we have Fenrir Torso and Bulwark Shoulders. And we have three Pulsars. We have one shield ability or ability module. And that's about it. So remember, before the Fenrir, when you hit the ability, you would gain resistance and speed and the Fenrir would be a tank. Now you lose durability, gain no resistance, and you get more damage which is wild. We also have the Matriarch Titan. The Matriarch looks pretty cool, but I haven't tried it out since the update. So now's a good time to do that. So let's hop into some games and let's see how weird this Fenrir really is. Okay, let's do this. Beacon Rush Crash. I still hate this mini map. I like the old one so much better. Okay, let's test out this ability. I'm just gonna hit it right off the bat. Okay, here we go. What the hell? Look, look at our health. We just do we regenerate any of that? What in the holy lasagna sandwich just happened? We just lost 80% of our health and our armor. And we gained damage and then we just That is absurd. Did they just kill the Fenrir? Okay, well, I guess now we'll have to. My question is, can you literally kill your... What if we hit the ability again here? Okay, I'm going to hold off from uh, engaging with a robot. If we just hit... Oh, whoa, die. we might die here. We have no armor. We literally have zero armor now. Reloading, reloading, reloading. This combination's a bit weird. <laughs> the Fowler fires so differently. I just hit my ability again, and now we're down to 5% HP. What did they do to this thing? Okay, we just got that grazed kill. That is insanity. Okay, we're regenerating our shield, but we don't regenerate our actual armor or durability. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna... This is actually kind of blowing my mind. I didn't realize it was to this extent. I knew the Fenrir was different, but this is ridiculous. Well... You guys... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can get him, we can get him. We're low HP, we're low HP. We didn't stand a chance. With that little armor, we have no freaking chance. You guys were telling me the Fenrir was different, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Okay, now let's try our weird... Okay, this is our Bulwark Fury Fenrir. Okay, right here. Okay, oh, we got the assist there. Man, why do so many of the weapons sound like completely different now? Like those, these pulsars sound very different. Oh, wait, wait, he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh, he died, he died. Okay, we're down a bit on the beacon bar here. Man, this is, I can't believe they did this. The Fenrir was like the meta. And now it's... Gonzo? I have my ability... Oh my god, we're down. You can't even use the ability. You cannot even use the ability. I don't know what's happening. 
Even with a longer range weapon build, I just, you can't even use it. Okay, this is our last Fenner. We're burning through these Fenners. We were Thunder and Quantum. We do have our um, ID pilot on here. We're down to the Beacon Bar bit here. Man, I didn't look at the stats. I wonder, did the Fenner gain any? What if like the Fenner is better if you just don't use the ability? It might be a, oh, is there? Whoa, guy right here. It might be a better robot if you just don't even use the ability. I don't know if a carry in there. He's got Orkins. Okay, let's grab this beacon and then... Come on, let me secure this. Then I'm going to attack him. I'm going to attack him. So I think our shield does stay up though, right? When we use the ability. Okay, I'm hitting my ability. Okay. Look, in that little green part's the only... Is that how much we're regenerating? Or was that our regenerate armor? I don't understand. I don't even, it doesn't even look like we're regenerating any of the armor after we use the ability. It's ridiculous. Drop the shield. Okay, I feel like the, the, the deployable dome shield might be the one thing that's kind of stayed the same. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, we got him. We got him. Dude, this is so wild. You have to completely rethink the way you run this thing. Look, I just... Oh, my gosh. Okay, my question is... See, this is the speed boost, too. My question is, you literally might be able to kill your robot just by hitting the ability. The unchained ability. Look at this. We have zero armor on our robot right now. If we get hit by anything, we're going to get smoked. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's deploy our Titan. Is it still the same after the update? So we just deployed our Titan. Let's see if the, uh, the Fenrir, we get it back full armor. Because that'd be pretty useful. Okay, let's test this thing out. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. We're hitting someone. Who are we hitting? Oh, this guy. This guy right there. This guy right there. Okay, let's push forward. Boom. Okay, two. That's two. That's two. Okay, it's secured. My verdict for the, the Grim and the Kid Titan were that they seem like they have less armor, but their weapons deal more damage. So this thing, let's see. Oh, he... Ow. Ew. Okay, I, I can actually see. Oh, that's a, okay, actually. Let's attack that guy. Man, I do like the effects. Oh, come on! How, how do we not kill him there? I don't know. Okay, somebody just stole our kill. Oh, let's hit our nanobot. Okay, here it is. Let's try to. Nothing's getting blocked. There we go. Okay, four kills. Nice. We took him down. Whoa, whoa. We just smoked him. This guy, this guy. Okay, five. Okay, I think the... Um, somebody told me this, but the, the Matriarch weapon does seem weaker. But the robot still seems pretty durable, considering we're alive right now. Okay. Oh, our middle torso... Death beating us. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Alright, we'll get the assist, whatever. I think we did most of the work. Actually, maybe not. Okay, we have the beacon bar lead. Okay, see our middle, our torso armor is almost completely cooked. Man, yeah, I don't like how this thing moves. It seems like it's not that heavy anymore. Can we get this guy? Yes, we got him. We got him. Okay, we had a six kill streak with the Matriarch. That's pretty good. So the Matriarch seems like the opposite. Actually, we can drop in our Fenrir again, right? Um, let's drop in uh, Fenrir back in. All right. Yes, we got full armor on it. That's such a good swap. You cap a beacon, and then you can redrop in your... Uh... Okay, got him. That seemed pretty good. 
All right, let's push up. Oh, we got a massive beacon bar lead here. Oh, actually, let's hit, let's hit my ability. Let's run it. Oh, okay, I want to test that out, but... Dude, that is bizarre. So, the Fenrir is like... The Fenrir is completely different. Way, way worse than before. We got MVP with our Matriarch. Um, but... That, that's absurd. So, you give up all your armor and durability. And then, you get a damage boost. I don't even know how much more damage you get. But, whatever it is, it's not worth losing all of your armor. And 80% of your health. That's so freaking absurd to me. So, Fenrir, honestly... Unless they adjust this, I do not like this change. They could have just nerfed... If they wanted to nerf the ability, they could have just done that. I don't know why they had to overhaul the ability and make it completely useless. But that's kind of wild. But the Matriarch, on the other hand, it seems pretty well balanced. The Matriarch might be the best Titan. I don't know. It has, seems like it has more... As much or more durability, but less powerful weapons. There it is. Fender Overhaul. More stuff to try out. Chicken meatballs.